everybody. It's Michelle Lavore and Devin Lavore coming, coming at, at you. <laughs> Still on kind of a well, I, I won't ruin it. Go ahead, you just go. <laughs> so um, basically, we just wanted to come and just share um, really kind of what God's been showing us mm -hmm. um, and just kind of what's been going on. Um, so much. Basically, so much. <laughs> this um, this morning it was just this sense of just God kind of moving on us with the deep sense of just rest. Mm -hmm. And and yesterday, honestly, I, I at the end of the day, I was just like, man, I think today was literally the most restful day we've oh my gosh. had during this ever, ever. Like, it was like the best. It was a it whole was, new level. It was a whole new. Well, because we came out of that whole, we came out of the decompression thing uh, yeah. with our last video. We made that as we were already kind of well into the decompression mm -hmm. thing. And then I just woke up this one morning. What was that? Was that Sunday, Sunday morning? Sunday morning? It was Sunday morning. I woke up and I was just like, man, things are different. I just knew. I almost felt like, wow, we've normalized. Yeah. You know, with the whole decompression analogy, we've normalized. Things are different. Things are back to normal. And it was just like, hmm. And then there were some old familiar stuff that started coming up that seemed like it was back to normal as well. And I was like, nah, this is not. We're in a different place, though. Yeah. We're in a different place. Well, and honestly, Sunday night, it was really cool because um, we, um, during our, our God time, we just, um, we were, uh, I think it was praying or we were worshiping. Oh, no, no, no. That's what it was. We had um, <laughs> finished praying, but you were just like, it was kind of like the end. And But you were like, hey, look, can I just have you guys oh, do this one thing? Oh, that's right. Be that's before right. Before we just wrap everything up. Because everyone seemed kind of Eeyore-ish. Yeah. And, and I was just like, like oh. Lord, what is this? What's going on? And so and we, I just got this sense of praise. Goodness. Yeah. No, go ahead. Go oh, ahead. Oh, just praise and like <laughs> shouting kind of like a victory. But we were like, okay, we can't actually like shout, shout because no. we have neighbors, you know. And it was like and 10 o'clock like, at night or something. Yeah. And so we were just like, all right, everybody, just, you know, we just want to praise and worship God and be like, wow, oh, yeah, God. It's pretty much just like that. Up. Yeah, Lord Jesus. Lord. And so as we're doing <laughs> that, I just had this picture, like, from the point of view of Jesus, mm -hmm. of him and his strong arms just pushing aside the palm trees. And I really felt like God was just like, that your, your the heart, your Jericho heart, like, whatever was those walls that were there, God's like, Internally. I pushed all of that aside. Mm -hmm. And it was just like, Wow, and there Lord. were some walls. There were some walls about finance, and there were some walls about just different things. Like, I don't know, was it pretty much financial? It was mostly financial, but I felt like some also peace just issues like as well. yeah, peace issues, letting things go. Yeah, just um, a lot of the things that God's just been working on of just like all right, how even I think how you approach approach things and whether when they happen and when they don't happen which kind of goes into more of what god was talking about today yeah but we had that on sunday night and i'm telling you like the the atmosphere and like the spirit it wow. changed it so drastically did. and i was just it was like amazing. wow and um and then yesterday um was just this really great day i mean we just pretty much relaxed the kids we put together some legos with the kids and yeah that was it was fun. just we watched my new favorite show and everybody actually <laughs> likes the show which is That's really true. awesome i actually love it <laughs> Even the and kids i'm just are like, like oh, wow is what is wrong cool. with me and <laughs> it was wrong with me <laughs> and um and so it was just just a really great relaxing day yeah and um, oh, and can I yeah. throw something in there? Because it's like a lot of this stuff is like because for us we were seeing the uh, Jericho thing as like money. Okay, well we need the money to get the stuff that we need to do. One of those walls that I felt like the Lord showed me a, uh, uh, it was about a week ago or so. I don't know, sometime last week. He was showing me how like our bank account is really an illusion. <laughs> we have. It's, I'm really breaking it down to yeah. its smallest parts. I'm giving you the the cliff's notes, so to speak. But he's like, it's an illusion. 
Mm-hmm. He's like, I don't need your bank account to have a certain number in, on it for me to do what I need to do. Yes, I know you need money to, to move things and buy things and all that. But God's like, that's my responsibility. Yeah. I will take care of that. You looking at your bank account and then making decisions based on that is you trusting in your own understanding. It's like, we've already went through this. Remember the 101 and the 201? And yeah. the three? It's like, we already went through this. I already showed it to you. Now I'm I'm kind of, he's like, I'm cementing it in. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm reminding you, hey, remember, I can do anything I want. As if you're with me, you have everything you need. Yeah. So that was really one of the walls when, yeah. when we say financial. It's not just the amount of how much money are we getting or how much money do we need. or the, It was God just saying, it's, it's really you have the me. mindset. You know what I mean? It's just like, you know, it, you have me. It's like you have the richest person alive with you. Yeah. What do you mean you need money? Yeah. You don't need money. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like you, you need me. That's yeah. who you need. And so that's what I mean by, that's, I think that's what we mean by one of the walls that was kind of torn down and things that God was doing. But because I can, I can hear some stuff going on in the brain out there in the cyber world. <laughs> and one of the things that God also showed us is like, if I'm doing it spiritually, I'm also going to do it naturally. Yeah. It's like God doesn't give you a sign or, or, or a, a promise or anything like that without it having to have some sort of physical manifestation. Yeah. It does. It has to have some sort of physical manifestation. So it's like the Jericho thing has a lot of it had to do with the money and the mindset and all that stuff, which we've talked about already before, actually. But it's like preparation for receiving the actual thing. Yeah. You know, and it's like, like recently God was speaking to us about going to Jerusalem. Yeah. And it was like, oh, Jerusalem. And right away, I got a picture of our, our dream house. It's not really our dream house. I keep saying that. Our dream house is something we're going to build. But it's like the, the house we've been talking to you guys about this whole time. Yeah, the house that God um, asked us to, to believe, believe for. Where? And I just, this is what we wanted. And we actually asked him. And he was like, hey, how about this one? I'm like, yeah, that's amazing. Wow, look at the price tag on that. Now, see, that back then, that was a big deal. Yeah. Nowadays, I mean, God can show me anything. And I wouldn't even look at the price tag. I would just be like, oh, that's what you're saying? Okay, well, then that's what we're going to get. That's what that's what you're saying. That's the important yeah. part. So why don't you talk about the Jerusalem thing? Yeah. And then, because basically there's a spiritual thing that in regards to the, we're going to go to Jerusalem. Jesus saying, hey, we're going to go to Jerusalem now. And then there's a physical manifestation, which yeah. is the house. But yeah. why don't you talk about the spiritual yeah. aspect? So of it I just really felt like. That comes first. Yeah, know? that God was. Really just showing me so much, especially even on Sunday, when he p- pushed the the palm trees aside, is that he is doing a lot of things spiritually in our hearts, mm-hmm. and he is letting us know where we're at and where we're going, mm-hmm. in 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 regards to that. But I feel like he's like I've got to complete the the heart story, and then I'm going to complete the actual manifestation of things. And, and he always said that that's going to be the last, the thing, last that happens thing that happens before you just go into yeah. this whole new chapter of life yeah. or new book. Right? And and so then we felt like yesterday God was saying, hey, it's time to go to Jerusalem. And and so it was kind of like, well, <laughs> so like, you know, of course, what does that mean? it's like, what does this mean? Does that mean we're getting our, like the house is coming? What's going on? And then. This morning, um, there were a lot of questions. It, it Actually, was, about a, just a few handful, like yeah. a few choice ones. Yeah. yeah. So then this morning, I really felt like God just really showed me um, that if the Jerusalem being like He is trying to have us be at rest mm-hmm. and and stop the, it's almost like it's time to stop the contending for, and it's now to basically kind of be like or the striving, the striving after, that's what it was the striving the striving contending after. is good when god says it's time to contend yes but god never says i want you to strive for this because basically he's saying i want you to do it yourself and you kind of go after it and try to make it happen and you know and because sometimes even in prayer even in the contending yeah we can be it can be motivated by ourselves and what we want and that's what we're going after and god this and god we declare and decree and and the spirit is not on it but yet we're doing it. It's like, no, stop doing that. Yeah. You know? But I just felt like God's really brought us to, because I, I guess I want to make myself clear as far as like, I believe like 
we have done everything that God has asked oh, us sure, to do. Oh, sure, sure. And it's just he's moving us into a different time and a different place. Mm-hmm. And so he wants us to know, I don't want you striving right. to go after this. What I want right now is for you to be at rest and at peace. And, and why is that important? Because when, when things began to normalize and get normal, that's what hit me. Yeah. The sense of like, oh, okay, well then what do we do next, Lord? I, I got to know what, what, mm-hmm. what comes next. And then, that's a striving. It, yeah. it came upon me really heavily. And I was just like, oh, yeah. what are we going to do? Okay, we got we have to do something. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, really? Yeah. This is, some, this is something the Lord touched on right away almost two years ago. Oh, right? yeah. yeah. He was like, you're not going to do anything. Yeah. Right away. I remember even making a video about it. I was like, Lord, what do you want me to do? He's like, I don't want you to do anything. I want you to lay on the table. Mm-hmm. Remember that? Yes. It's like, I want you to lay on the table. And I was like, what do you mean lay on the table? I'm going to deliver this thing. Yeah. You're not going to do nothing. You're just going to lay down. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> let me do it. Let me let me show you. Yeah. Let me, you know, I'm going to do this to glorify my name. And you get to be a part of it. It's, it's, it's going to be awesome. You're not going to do anything. Yeah. You're just going to be obedient. Just follow. Believe. That's what I want you to do. Yeah. And so it was just, I don't know, this really, the sense of, I want you to start living as if you're already there yeah like as if you're put your heart in jerusalem i guess i better start working out but (laughs) but it's like live live as as if you know like with david you know he he went and and received jerusalem Mm -hmm. and then once he had jerusalem he god said he put peace you know he was at rest and there was peace on every side yeah for david yeah. And and so it's like you got to we have to start living in our hearts as if we are already there. And mm-hmm. I just really felt like God showed me this picture of um, or just reminded me of when um, I had trained for a half marathon. And it was like, I, you know, you put so much energy and effort and, going, and going after, you know, um, training and all of that and so I completed this half marathon and then afterwards you know I was like all right you gotta let the body recover and 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 but then it was just kind of like oh what do I do now like okay let me just I'm gonna keep okay maybe I'll just I'm gonna keep running but I could tell something had changed um and it was just like I knew that um, the person I've been running with, like that, that relationship was really just built on their, their running. And God really, he had already shown me like, okay, this isn't going to continue on. But I was like, I wanted to continue on because I enjoyed it so much during that season. But there was just, it was a kind of a difficult transition and it was really hard. Like I just yeah. dealt with, it was like there's a grieving that went with it. And it's like you really wanted to just kind of keep going. I did. I tried. And keep running and keep <laughs> training. It's like, all right, now I'm going to do. Now I'm, I'm going to do, do a, a marathon. marathon. And now and I I'm bet that happens do- to a lot of runners. Mm-hmm. They do a marathon. Okay, now I'm going to do another marathon. Oh, I'm going to do every marathon that's available this year. Yeah. Oh, after that, oh, I'm going to do a triathlon. I mean, because they can't come down. Yeah. They can't transition. And, and so it was just kind of this, you know, during that time, I really did have a hard time. Because it was like, what do I do now? What am I? And and I did like I honestly was striving to keep things going, keep things up because it was something that it was like I really enjoyed it. But mm-hmm. that time and season in my life, it was over, yeah. and it was just kind of coming coming to grips with that. But I felt like God was saying like, that's what I'm tr- preventing. That's what I'm. I don't mm-hmm. want to have happen. And yeah. how does that happen? Is I'm preparing your hearts in advance mm-hmm. for what I, where I'm going to place you, so it is a seamless transition. Oh, you stole my I word! Did. You I stole, stole my word! word. <laughs> I took your thunder. <laughs> it wasn't my word; it was the Lord's word, or whatever. But yeah, that it would just be an easy transition, yep. and just you know, it's like because your hearts are already there. Yes. So when you transfer from this physical. To the new physical, you really aren't going to feel any different. Yeah. Because it's going to be like, oh, we're just, okay, we're here. I mean, it is going to be different. Yeah. It is going to feel different. There's but it's not going to be this dramatic, drastic. crazy, drastic shell shock mm-hmm. different. It's going to be like, oh, this is kind of like what we've been doing this whole yeah. time anyway. Yeah. And you know? it's not going to be this 
yeah, like that. It's it's going to be your heart is already there. You're already living in your heart where you're getting ready to to go. And then the only thing that changes is your surroundings. Yeah. Versus, and I think it's so. I can't wait to be surrounded in a McLaren 720s. That's going to be great surroundings. But for now, I'll do Uber. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) And I'll be happy about it. (laughs) Yeah, and I think it's so important because. I think it's important for the heart to be able to go and be at rest without it being attached to something happening. Right. And it's like God is saying, that's where the heart gets troubled. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I am bringing you to this place where you don't have to allow your heart to be troubled. And I think my heart was troubled today. It was. Mine was too. I was like, Oh Lord, I'm troubled because I'm like, just based on everything you're saying, the yeah. transition can be kind of shaky, and you're like, but "What I, do I do now? What's going on?" And things but, are clearly different, but we don't have what's coming next. So we need that comfort of knowing what's mm-hmm. coming. Oh, now I know. Okay, I'm comforted. Nah, you got to be comforted in the fact that God's with you. Is that enough? Uh, not really. I'm gonna be totally honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> My heart is obviously saying no. Yeah. So let's just deal with the reality of the situation. It's like there's some stuff in there that I'm I'm still striving for. Yeah. I'm still reaching for mm-hmm. that I find comfort in. And God's like, that's what I'm doing. Yeah. I just, you can't do that. I am yeah. with you. That's all you need, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. And I think it's just, <laughs> it's been awesome for God to just do all of that. And I think, you know, I was having just heart troubles <laughs> this morning. I think this has been the easiest hard time we've ever gone through. It really has. <laughs> it really but, hasn't been a hard time. But I think time, that's but... what I kind of want to talk about is just that the, it's like to see what God has done mm-hmm. because of all the work that he's done. Yeah. It's like, you know, these heart troubling times. It was really like, okay, well, wait, I'm recognizing to be able to recognize like, oh, this is just my soul mm-hmm. and my flesh talking yeah. versus what is the spirit of God saying? And and this morning during our God time, we, we talked about the rest and the peace, but we also talked about, you know, inclining your ear mm-hmm. towards either the flesh or inclining your ear towards the spirit mm-hmm. and, and what is God saying? And, and it can be very, it can be hard because your emotions can rise up. And it's like screaming out. But I think it's just been awesome to see how it's like, you know what? I actually know how to handle this now mm-hmm. because God has taught me. He's taught me now. Okay, whoa, emotions are rising up. Red flag. That means we need to go talk to God. You're not shell-shocked by it. Yeah. And yeah. we need to go talk to God about this. And then I need to start listening for what the Spirit is saying. Mm-hmm. And coming into agreement with what the spirit is saying and not what my soul is saying. And trust me, it's not, it's like, honestly, even we, we had that this morning, worked through, you know, God worked through all that and it was great. And then it's like, we came back and again, it's like the soul starts rising up again of like, mm-hmm. I was just. There's like an ebb and a flow. Yeah. It's you like, think there's just going to be just a flow. It's yeah. just like, okay, I'm done. I, I've solved that issue. Yes. And then here it comes again. It's like, wait a minute. But then, but honestly, the second time around, it was like way easier to just kind yeah. of, yeah. you know, I, I was, I was starting to say like, well, you know, it's this, it, I was starting to talk and then, um, it got interrupted. It literally got cut off because, um, some, we had a supporter that gave us some money today and it was just like, wow, God is so, such a blessing to, to us. And it just cut me off and it was, it was just like okay i can't even yeah. go down that road i can't even I, can't. I literally did not even get half my sentence out <laughs> and it was like i'm done i'm done i'm done my I'm done you know my what questioning. that whole just like why um why is my soul downcast or oh, yeah. even just like it's a song 42 and 43 all of that it's like i'm done yeah I, I can't even, I literally cannot even go there because it's yeah. not true of the word of anything that I was thinking, anything that the soul was coming out. And it, Well, because the soul can masquerade as wisdom. Yeah. The soul can masquerade as the voice of God. Yeah. That's when you really get into some trouble. Mm-hmm. And that generally happens when it's really 
deep treasure chest heart desires. Yeah. Your soul can begin to speak and you think it's the Lord. And you you go, oh, that was the Lord. And it's like, uh, there's yeah. something in there that's going, oh, hold on, wait, just hold on. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> and it's just like, it can be difficult to navigate those waters yeah. of the heart's desires and how close we can get to them sometimes. Mm-hmm. And particularly when you've been waiting for a long time for something, but it's in the waiting. I just really feel the Lord saying this. It's in the waiting and it's in the long suffering that there is the great forming. Yes. Ooh, I just feel the mm-hmm. Lord on that. It's like in the long suffering is the great forming. Yeah. And it's like you you just, if you, if you saw it from my perspective, you would never, ever want to shortcut any part of it. Because you live like no one else now, and you can live like no one else later. It's like you can be one of the many, or you can be one of the few. Yeah. The few go through every nook and cranny of that long suffering, and they come out looking a lot like Jesus, basically. Yeah. I mean, because that's your goal. Your goal is not so much to get a promise or to get into a house or whatever it is that God's put on our heart to believe for, which is really just another puzzle piece fitting into a bigger picture, yeah. which is another piece fitting into a bigger picture of what he's doing in the kingdom to get the kingdom here on earth. That's yeah. really what it's about. Mm-hmm. But how are you going to do that if you're kind of, a, a, I want to say, a cruddy vessel? <laughs> You got stuff in there that God's got to get the pipe cleaner of the soul in and just kind of clean some stuff out. Well, that's what he's been doing this whole time we've been here. You know, he's been forming and growing and cleaning all of it at the same time. He's been building something. He's been he's been doing something. You know, we we hear that a lot. God's doing something. Well, man, that's that could be just like that could be a multifaceted thing. You know, and then it's like, but you got to, it's like with the scripture, breathe by the Holy Spirit, you guys. The scripture says, let patience have its perfect work. Yes. Do you want a 99% work or do you want a 100% work? Yeah. Well, this is the thing. The many will settle for a 50% work or a 60% work. I'll just take 60%. I'm good. Well, that 40% is going to jack you up. Yeah. That that one percent that li- Jesus said just a little bit of leaven leavens the whole lump. Yeah. You now what is that one old proverb that grandmothers always used to say that the, about the spoiled apple? Oh yeah, messes up the whole what, bunch yeah. or something like that. Yeah, so it's like, apple. like you got to let that long suffering yeah. complete the great forming. You know, I remember when we were at Embassy Suites, I saw that guy with the T-shirt. It said finisher. <laughs> Yeah. I just remember that. And God's like, you need to remember this. Yeah. You know, a lot of times God's not giving us prophetic words to help us with our desire to know when yeah. or a timing thing. He's like, even our uh, son oh, gosh, this yeah, morning, last, our five-year-old, it or it was last night, our the five-year-old, baby. he was just like, well, you know, Dad, that, that thing you said yesterday, that, that, that's got a timing to it, so... You know, we're just going to let God do what he wants to do, when he wants to do it, how he wants to do it or something. Yeah. And I was just like, <laughs> I mean, mouth drop. Yeah. Tongue rolled out like a red carpet. I was like, who are you? Yeah. Are you really five or are you 25? Yeah. <laughs> it was amazing. I was just like, oh, my gosh, you really are listening because he moves so much. Yeah. And it's just like you think he's just not listening. And he's totally listening and he's getting it. Yeah. And I'm just like, wow, yeah. Because I got a, uh, something popped out at me yesterday that says that talked about tomorrow. And I was like, well, it's not a literal tomorrow. Yeah. It's just God saying that's what's coming next. Yes. Particularly in reference to going to Jerusalem and all that. So I just wanted to kind of add with just the whole timing thing. I really do. Ooh, like, we got that mastered, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I think, you know, I think that's good to, to keep in mind. Like, God isn't giving us prophetic words so we can just figure out the timing. The, the prophetic that's words, the he's really speaking to our hearts and where he is taking us mm-hmm. in the spirit. And I just want to say, like, for that encouragement. It, for, yeah. yeah, it's for encouragement. It's, it's to continue to move on, continue to press forward. And I really, I mean, if anything, I'm. I really feel like God's just been highlighting is the fact that 
he he is completing things in the spirit in our hearts and and it's like like you just said you don't want to have god working on something and you get 98 percent done and then you're just like that's That's good good enough. enough yeah and because it's like God is bringing into per, into completion everything that he's doing. And then he's going to manifest things physically. And it's like you, your heart has to be ready for the blessing that he wants to set. And I think so much of the time during this journey, it's like, oh, we're ready. We're ready. We feel ready. We feel ready. Our soul is saying, we're ready. There can't possibly be anything else. How could there ever be anything else? And it's like God's like... All right, well, let's just keep going. <laughs> let's just keep and going. And glad. And then you're so glad when you look back at yeah. it. And I think that's so important is when you're listening to the Spirit, you know, it's like God is good. God is faithful to bring things into completion. This morning it felt like, okay, this is another one of those spiritual things that we have to go through and it's going to be forever. And, you know, that's what the soul was saying. Mm-hmm. But then it was like, and it, I literally, I was just like, it feels like it's going to be a never ending story. Like it's just going to keep going and going and going and going. The very movie my kids just finished watching yesterday yeah. and today. Yeah, which is funny. Which is probably <laughs> why it was on my mind. Because it's like never ending story. never ending story. <laughs> but, but again, like I was just reminded right away of just like, God will bring into completion what he starts, he finishes. And it's like, all right, well, that is what I'm holding on to. It's the fact that God finishes what he starts. You know, in the Hebrew culture, the words complete and perfect are really synonymous. Mm -hmm. They're the same thing. It's like something's, something's perfect when it's complete. Yeah. You know, that's why Jesus said, be perfect as I am perfect. Well, what does that mean? Be complete as I am complete. I'm complete. I don't have, I'm, I'm lacking nothing because yeah. I'm connected to the Father. You you be like that. Yeah. Be like me. Come be connected to the Father like I am and you'll be totally perfect. Yeah. You know, it's like our, our, I think our Western idea of perfection is all about performance. Yes. Whereas God's idea of perfection is about completion and wholeness. Mm. You know, whereas wow. we're just like, that's why we have a lot of destination mindset. Yeah. Oh, when, when I get here, I'll be happy. Oh, when this or that happens, I'll be happy. When I get married, oh, yeah, I'll be happy. Oh, when I have children, oh, I'll be happy. Oh, when I live in a bigger house, I'll be happy. Oh, well, you know what? Actually, when I, and it's just like, When eh. my children leave the house, then I'll be happy. Yeah, and God's <laughs> looking at that and going, oh, man, your heart is not perfect. Yeah. Your heart's not complete. Mm-hmm. You're trying to fill that incompleteness with things outside of yourself when it's really inside that needs to change. Yeah. You know, and that's what he does with us. Um, I believe God's working, you know, like it's been said many times, he's working on a, a new generation of believers, a brand yeah. new, spanking brand new, I'm starting from scratch, no leftover remnants from yesteryear, yeah. all brand new, scratch from, you know, just like, it's just going to be me, you, the revelation of who I am, my word, that's it. Yeah. Not the way religion has messed it up and taught it for the last 70 years. Yeah. It's just going to be brand new. Some of this stuff's going to seem weird to some people. Some of it's going to be, even those who are, who are believing and walking with the Lord, it's going to be weird. It's going to, because you haven't seen it. Yeah. There's been no examples of it. Yeah. But it's me and I'm going to lead these people through it. And I feel like that's what a lot of people, particularly who watch our channel and watch shit, channels like Shelly L and, and um, other channels like that. Mm-hmm. Um, there's other bigger channels out there too, um, but they're just like I think we're all just kind of being formed into this new breed of. Yeah. It's the original vision, really. You know, God always goes back to the original vision, and um, you know, just walking in the garden. That was something that came up today yeah, as well. Can you talk about that. About how like God wants to give us peace, and He's like, I want you to have peace, and that's it. That's I don't. It's like striving came once Adam and Eve were taken out of the garden and put into the, put outside of the garden. You know, blessing came when Adam and Eve, or when Adam was formed in the wilderness and then placed in the garden. And it was like, that's where I want you, right there. I don't want you to be outside of that. I want to walk with you in the cool of the day yeah. and just have that peace and fellowship. And, and so when Jesus died, 
that's what he came and restored. Yeah. You know, he restored that relationship, that mm-hmm. garden-like relationship. And he's like, I don't want you to be like, okay, we have this garden-like relationship. That's great. Oh, I've got this problem. What do I do? You yeah. know what I mean? He's like, that's not the way you do it. Yeah. In the garden, we just, we communicate about it. We talk about it. Mm-hmm. And then from that communication and that intimacy comes the answer. Yeah. You know, and a lot of times the answer that comes from that communication is this. That's actually not even a problem. Yeah. (laughs) You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's like, that's not even a problem. Now that I've talked with you, Lord, about it and we walk together in this, I don't, that's not even a problem anymore. Mm -hmm. I thought it was a problem. It appeared to be a problem, problem, but it's actually not a problem. But sometimes you do have actual problems and God's like, I'm going to be with With you. you. God's answer to every problem is himself with you yeah i will be with you in trouble you know you know shadrach meshach and abednego daniel and the lion's den and so many other people that are not as talked about it's the same answer from genesis to revelation god with us emmanuel god with us that's his answer to every problem whether it's legitimate or perceived yeah it's him so be encouraged Yes, be encouraged. <laughs> and you know, I just, I just think really, like, if you take away mm-hmm. anything from, from this, I really feel like just to be at rest with the Lord, to, to basically be, be in the place in your heart where you are. You are living in the place of rest with God. You're living in the garden. You're living in your Jerusalem, mm-hmm. and and where it's like. In your heart. In your heart. Yeah. yeah, in your heart. And um, because there is just great joy and freedom in the Holy Spirit from yeah. that. And it's just like. Never leave the garden. Never. That's what John 15 was really all about. Yeah. Jesus was like, abide in, in me, me and stay in me. Yeah. He's like, don't come and visit and then leave. He's like, live here. Yes. Live in this intimate relationship with me, vitally united to me, and then you will bear the fruit of love, joy, peace, patience. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can finish the rest. It's like you'll just, that's just what will happen. Yeah. It will naturally happen. Well, what do I have to do? I'm a branch. I'm in the tree. All right, produce, 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 produce. Yeah, no branch ever said that. No, it just naturally <laughs> produces. Said no branch ever. It just, you're, you're connected to the source you're going to produce. Yeah. Fruit, you know? So true. Yeah. So, and, um, yeah, I think that's really what we have for you guys. Again, we just so appreciate every single person who continues to just wow. give to our family. Um, it's just been such a blessing from the Lord. And I know that he himself is the one that is just directing people to give. But. And, and, and so but still, we just like, really praise the Lord appreciate you people. all of you. Um, we appreciate prayers and we definitely appreciate all of the comments. I know we really haven't had too much time to we, oh, haven't. we just haven't really and probably over a week now because yeah. just where God's Made that comments. decompression time man we were just we were on like a vacation yeah kind of it was just like we were just not doing anything yeah and we didn't um, even make a video for like four days or yeah something like that it was, it was a it was really awesome so but now um, we're back at it boom <laughs> <laughs> but um but again, though, we really appreciate comments and um, yeah, we, just we appreciate the interaction. Yeah, and just, just being awesome. able to share with just the body great. of Christ and and come come together. Yeah. And, um, yeah. So really, until next time, guys, we will see you later. Yep. Bye, guys. We love you. Bye. Love you. <laughs> <laughs> Little Mr. Brown in there. Yeah. <laughs>